would you have us do? Covered the land rejects us. That's as clear as day. Better than yesterday, I hope. May you walk in the fields of plenty. Aloy, wasn't sure you'd ever come around. What do you think of Plainsong? It's quite a place. <laughs> sure. As long as you like the smell of manure. Ah, uh, don't mind me. I won't go wandering again, I promise. There are people who need me here. Some of the others the Eclipse took had it worse than me. A lot worse. Do what you can for them, Yef. I will. Won't be anything like you did, but I'll give it my best. May you ever walk in Do you need rations, Hunter? Meet with me. I don't know what else to do. How about you just start by telling me what's wrong? I'm from Riverham, to the north. A few days back, I woke to the screams of my neighbors as Tanakh's rebels attacked. They were just scouts, but we barely drove them off. If a full raiding party comes next, we're not fighters. We're done for. I thought the chorus would help us. I thought we all sprouted from the same earth, but it seems an outlander is the only one who even listened to me. Would it be too much to hope that you'd stand with us in this fight? Regala's rebels, do you know why they're attacking you? You're asking why the sun sets at night. They are Tanakhs. They live to fight. As usual, among themselves. But this time my village is caught in the middle. The rebels want to strip it of supplies to feed their campaign against the Western clans. If they're not attacking here, can't you retreat to Plainsong? An outlander might find it difficult to understand. All Utaru carry seeds that are planted when we pass. My people have planted many seeds in River Hymn's Grove, a gift from the Buried Years, which I believe Outlanders call the Red Raids. We'll never leave. We sacrifice too much. You said your own people won't help. The Chorus are supposed to speak for all Utaru, and normally I wouldn't question them, but they see outlying settlements like River Hymn as lost lands, no longer under Plain Song's protection. They won't even meet with me to discuss it. If I find myself up north, I'll check in on your people. I ask nothing more. When you reach the village, look for Q. He's heading up our defenses. Thank you. 
one. There's plenty where that came from. Going down. Nervous? Bringing an outlander before the chorus. I hope this works. So the singing just keeps going. I guess that means the chorus is still in session? The people sing to soothe the chorus, to help them break their impasse. It wouldn't be necessary if they were in harmony. I'm not gonna have to sing back, am I? Of course not. The singing will stop when we present ourselves. Are you ready? All right, let's go talk to them. Speak. Your sacred cave. There's something inside I need. And if I can get it, it so will help. and the Nora have spread word of your story. And what you want. We know of no spirit in the cave. Only Fa, our land god, who entered the cave and did not return. The power of the land gods is broken. We are diminished. Tales of spirits will not help us. Nothing will. We weaken. We die. And become fertile ground for new life. This is the natural order. Yes. Wait. You're all just going to sit around? Until you become food for worms? Literally? So says the Outlander. Ignorant of our beliefs. Please. Remember how she brought peace to Ray. Listen to her. We've heard such temerity from you before, Zoe. Let us not forget that you agitated for reckless war against the Kaja. At least she's trying to help. Ah. By inviting you to break our traditions. Should we change our ways to suit every impudent outsider who wanders into plain song? No. You should change your ways because your own lands are killing you. We have stood by and watched as our land gods waste away. You would have us do the same with our neighbors. 
Our children! And this lone outlander can save us. <laughs> Nonsense. A single seed matters little in the infinite cycle of growth and decay. An alarm. It's coming from the mountains. Was that from the cordon? It's an alarm! The machines must have broken through the cordon. Then we need to get down there. What about the chorus? If the cordon has fallen, there's nothing left to prevent us from going in the cave. The time for permission is over. Then off we go. This way, Aloy! Fighting in the fields ahead. Seen these machines before. They must have come from the cordon. The others will defend planes. We have to move. Do you really think we can do something about all of this? All right. Then, yeah. Machines. It's burning. Whoa! Look at it burn! These machines are stronger, deadlier, than more. I'll bring that There's machine! There's no longer standing around the Oh! 
These machines are stronger, deadlier than normal. There's more than just me and the only missing land guard in that cave. is the path of the land gods. It'll lead us to the cordon. More machines! We can take them out, Aloy. On your lead. Gloves and arm to the teeth. Huh? <laughs> 
moving. Can the others hold out? Machines are everywhere. Almost there. So many machines broke through. What happened to the Cordon's defenders? We better be ready for anything. They will be more when the time is right. For now, we must keep going. Into the cave. Aloy, we should head into the cave. <laughs> huh? 
May the land gods forgive our trespass.